Eight hundred years ago, Zhang Ruachen, the son of Emperor Ming, was killed by his fiancée A.E. Princess Qi Yao, and a generation of Tianjiao fell from grace. Eight hundred years later, Zhang Ruachen came back to life, only to find that he had once killed his fiancée A.E. and had unified the Kunlun realm, opening up the first central empire, known as the Empress Qi Yao. Empress Qi Yao Governs the world and has great power in all directions, youth endures forever, never dies or dies. Zhan Ruachen stood outside the ancestral hall of the emperors, gazing at the statue of Empress Qi Yao, with a raging flame of hatred burning in his heart. I will repair it for thirteen years, and dare to call the empress down to the underworld. Keywords of the novel Wangu Shindi no pop-ups, Wangu Shindi TXT complete collection download, Wangu Shindi latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. 800 years later. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 800 years later, Qi Yao, I see you as my beloved. Why did you kill me? Zhan Ruachen roared low and pounced forward, causing the gilded carriage to creak and he suddenly sat up. Discovering it was just a dream, Zhang Ruachen took a long breath and wiped the fine beads of sweat on his forehead with his sleeve. No that's not a dream. How could everything that happened between him and Princess Qi Yao be a dream? Zhang Ruachen was originally the only son of Ming Emperor, one of the nine great emperors in the Kunlun realm. At the age of only sixteen, he achieved great perfection in the heavenly extreme realm with his outstanding physique. But just as he became the first young person in the Kunlun world, he died at the hands of his childhood sweetheart's fiancée A.E., Princess Qi Yao. Princess Qi Yao is the daughter of one of the nine great emperors, the Qin Emperor. Emperor Ming and Emperor Qin were close friends, and Zhang Ruachen and Princess Qi Yao were married by fingertips. They grew up together and practiced swordsmanship together. One is handsome, the other is exceptionally talented, and can be called a golden child and jade maiden. It could have been a beautiful story in the cultivation world. Zhang Ruachen never expected that Princess Qi Yao would attack him. After dying in the hands of Princess Qi Yao, Zhang Ruachen woke up again and found himself 800 years later. Princess Qi Yao, who once quelled the rebellion of the Nine Emperors, unified the Nine Kingdoms, established the First Central Empire, and became the sole ruler of the entire Kunlun realm. Empress Qi Yao 800 years ago, the nine emperors who ruled the Kunlun Mountains became a thing of the past and disappeared into the rolling river of history. The nine emperors have died, and the empress should be enthroned. In this era, there is only one emperor, and that is Empress Qi Yao. Dominate the world and have great power in all directions. Why did she kill me? How could her heart be so cruel, or are women's hearts so cruel? Zhang Ruachen's gaze changed from blurred to sharp, his heart sank like iron, full of questions. But no one can help him answer. Eight hundred years have passed, and everything has changed. Apart from the unparalleled cultivation of Empress Qi Yao, her youth remains, never aging or dying. Those former friends have all turned into lusts and white bones in the mountains. Even the nine emperors who once shook the world have all disappeared from the human world, leaving behind only glorious stories that will be passed down for future generations. Squeak A delicate and beautiful woman in palace attire pushed the door and walked in quickly. She saw Zhang Ruachen sitting on the bed, both worried and concerned, and said, Chinner, have you had nightmares again? The beautiful woman in front of me is the queen of Yinwu County, as well as Zhang Ruachen's mother, Lin Fei. The original owner of this body died on the bed three days ago due to weakness and prolonged illness. After being killed by Princess Qi Yao, Zhang Ruachen woke up again and appeared inside this body, bringing back the boy who had died of illness. Even more coincidentally, the original owner of this body, also known as Zhang Ruachen. When Zhang Ruachen just woke up, he was still very resistant to Lin Fei. In his eyes, concubine Lin was just a stranger. However, after three days of contact, Zhang Ruachen gradually realized that concubine Lin really cared about him very much and was meticulous. When she heard him having a nightmare, 
she was startled and woke up, ignoring the wind, snow, and cold weather. She immediately rushed to his room to take care of him. In his previous life, Jean Ruachin had never seen his biological mother. It is said that she passed away when she was born. Unexpectedly, after being killed by Princess Chiao, he was reborn in this body, giving him an extra mother and feeling the warmth of maternal love that he had never experienced before. Perhaps she didn't know that her own child, Chen Er, died of illness three days ago. If you tell her the truth, she may not be able to withstand the blow of this bad news. Zhang Ruachen looked at the delicate and beautiful woman in front of him, who was almost shedding tears due to concern. His eyes softened and he said, Mother, don't worry about me, it's just a dream. Lin Fei, with her thin body draped in a jujube red hooded mink fur, sat by Zhang Ruachen's bed, caressing his forehead and worried, it's been three nights already. You've been constantly waking up from nightmares and calling, Chi Yao, every time. Who the hell is she? Lin Fei naturally couldn't associate the name, Chi Yao, with the Empress of the First Central Empire. Moreover, after the unification of Kunlun and the establishment of the First Central Empire, Empress Chi Yao was known as the Great Virtuous Empress Saint, and no one dared to mention the word, Chi Yao, in her daily life. Will violate taboos. Zhang Ruachen said, It's nothing, mother. You heard me wrong. Lin Fei sighed and said, In the future, don't use the word Qi Yao directly, even in your dreams. It's the Empress's name taboo. Calling the Empress's name taboo directly is disrespectful. Once someone with a heart hears it, they will be executed. Zhang Ruachen nodded in agreement, his fingers gripping the bedding tightened slightly and he said with deep meaning, absolutely not. In the future. In the future, I will be her nightmare. Lin Fei looked at Zhang Ruachen, who was thin and pale, and let out a soft sigh, feeling immense pain in her heart. Although born into the family of a prince, he has been weak since childhood, at the age of sixteen, and can only lie in bed all year round. I'm afraid he will only be like this in his lifetime. Outside, there was a rapid and chaotic sound of footsteps. What are you doing? This is Yushu Palace. Who gave you the courage to break in at will? A beautiful maid tried to stop the eighth prince who broke in, but was gently pushed by him and fell several meters away. The eighth prince is a martial arts cultivator. When his cultivation reaches the late stage of the yellow extreme realm, a single palm strike is enough to knock out a 300-pound stone pillar ten zhang away, let alone a maid weighing a hundred or ten pounds. With a flick of her finger, she can be bounced out. The maid screamed in agony and fell heavily to the ground, breaking her left arm. The eighth prince was dressed in a golden thread robe, wrapped in a bright jade belt around his waist, with a strong body, long arms, and steady steps. He walked into the Yushu Palace and gave the maid a cold glance, saying, Even a servant dares to block the path of this prince. It's really seeking death. Behind the eighth prince, there were six guards dressed in Lin Lock armor, with tiger backs, bare waist, and sharp eyes. Obviously, they were all martial arts cultivators with deep cultivation and belonged to the forbidden guards of the palace. After hearing the commotion outside and calming Zhang Ruachen's emotions, Lin Fei closed the door and walked out. She stared at the eighth prince standing outside, frowned slightly, and said, Your Highness, this is Yushu Palace. Even if you are a prince, you cannot trespass, can you? Prince Zhang Ji looked up at Empress Lin and clasped his fists in the sky, saying loudly, the queen has an order to change the sleeping quarters of Empress Lin and her ninth brother to the Zi Pian Hall. From now on, the owner of the Yushu Palace will be the biological mother of this prince. Empress Xiao. Lin Fei's face changed slightly. She had anticipated that this day would come, but she didn't expect it to come so soon. Concubine Lin lowered her head and lowered her gaze, with a pitiful smile, as if muttering to herself, is the queen going to drive our mother and son away from Yushu Palace so soon? All right. Tomorrow, concubine Lin and Chinner will move to the side hall. The eighth prince said, I'm sorry, 
My mother said that she wants to settle in Yushu Palace tonight. Please move to the side hall now, Lady Lin. Lin Fei knew that Zhang Ruachen was weak and couldn't withstand the turmoil, and with a hint of pleading, she said, Your Highness the Eighth Prince, you also know that your ninth brother is weak and sickly. It's already late at night and the weather is cold. What if? The Eighth Prince gave a cold smile and said without any courtesy, Empress Lin, there are many pitiful people in this world, but not everyone is worth pitying. Since the ninth brother is living in such pain, what are you still doing in this world? He's your ninth brother. Lin Fei burst into tears and wanted to say something more when suddenly the door behind her was pushed open. Zhang Ruachen was weak and could only barely stand with his hands supporting the doorpost, staring at the eighth prince not far away. His seemingly weak body, imbued with an indomitable will, said, Don't ask them, we'll move out now. Chinner, why did you get out of bed? It's cold outside, why don't you go back now? Lin Fei quickly stepped forward to help Zhang Ruachen, afraid that he might catch the cold. Zhang Ruachen stubbornly shook his head and said, Mother, we don't need to beg anyone. Sooner or later. We will come back here again. Lin Fei looked at Zhang Ruachen's resolute gaze, infected by his emotions, and nodded with tears in her eyes. Lin Feishan helped Zhang Ruachen and walked step by step out of the Yushu Palace, except for the maid who was pushed out by the Eighth Prince and broke her arm. All the other attendants did not leave Yushu Palace with them. Everyone can see that Consort Lin and Prince Jio have completely lost their power, and it is difficult for them to have a foothold in the prince's mansion. They were originally servants of Yushu Palace, but now it is natural and wise to choose to stay in Yushu Palace and please the new owner the eighth prince. Zi Piandian is usually a place where the favored queen resides, remote and desolate, with fallen leaves all over the ground, and no one has lived for a long time. Deep at night, the cold wind howls. Sitting on the cold stone bench, Zhang Ruachen's thin and weak body was wrapped in a thick coat, but still felt cold. This physical body is too weak. Only by practicing martial arts can my body gradually become stronger. Otherwise, even if I am now the son of the princess, I can still only be bullied. Eight hundred years have passed, and Zhang Ruachen doesn't know where he can go now. Since heaven arranged for him to be reborn in this body, whether for revenge against Empress Qi Yao in the future or for the mother who takes care of him meticulously, he must become strong. The humiliation and cold treatment I have suffered today are entirely due to my own weakness, inability to resist, inability to control my own destiny, and even the occupation of my place of residence. To gain respect in a warm and comfortable living environment, one must become a warrior and prove one's abilities. In the Kunlun realm, to become a warrior, one must first activate the Divine Martial Seal. The so dot called Divine Weapon Imprint refers to the qualification granted by the gods to humans to practice martial arts. People who have not activated the Divine Martial Mark will never be able to cultivate true qi and become strong beings between heaven and earth. Zhang Ruachen is already 16 years old and still hasn't opened the Divine Martial Mark. After the age of 16, one misses the optimal age for martial arts cultivation. Even if one opens the Divine Martial Seal, it is impossible to achieve much success. Why can the Eighth Prince, who is also the son of Prince Yinwu, be superior? Can you drive Zhang Ruachen and Lin Fei out of Yushu Palace? It is because at the age of ten, the Eighth Prince opened the Divine Martial Mark and now he is a young warrior in the later stage of the Yellow Extreme Realm. As long as I activate the Divine Martial Seal, I can practice the Nine Heavens Emperor Sutra. With the mystery of the Nine Heavens Emperor Sutra, even if I have missed the best cultivation age, there is still a possibility that I can catch up with other geniuses. The Nine Heavens Emperor Sutra is the highest treasure of Emperor Ming's cultivation. Apart from Emperor Ming, only Zhang Ruachen knows the complete cultivation method of the Nine Heavens Emperor Sutra. Tomorrow is the grand ceremony of worship, hoping to gain the recognition of the gods and open the divine martial seal. Zhang Ruachen clenched his fist, full of desire to open the divine martial seal. 
After finishing tidying up the room, Concubine Lin came over to assist Zhang Ruachin and said, Chinner, please rest early. Tomorrow, you also have to attend the sacrificial ceremony. Don't worry, mother. I will definitely be able to unlock the divine martial seal tomorrow, Zhang Ruachin said. Her mother believes you. Lin Fei gave Zhang Ruachin a deep glance and let out a soft sigh in her heart. In fact, she had no hope of opening the divine martial seal for Zhang Ruachin, after all, he was already sixteen years old, and it was almost impossible for him to still open the divine martial seal. But as a mother, even if she sees the truth clearly and feels sad and hopeless for her, she still encourages her child and gives him confidence. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Opening the Divine Martial Seal You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 3 Huangji Realm You are listening at NovelFull.audio the source has no content or has errors. 4. Chapter 4. Chronicles of Time and Space. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 5. Dragon Elephant Prajnaparamita. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 6. Lin Nishan. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 7. Tianqin Sword Technique. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 8. Wuxer. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 9. The Truth Three Years Ago You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 10 36 Meridian Charts You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors.